these properties that we're doing today, you know, we're averaging 15% internal rate of return, meaning you would collect in one year, average checking account in America pays 0.018, one eighth of 1% before, before setup fees. If you multiply that number times six, you'll be at 100%. One, it takes you six years to earn 1% on your money. So most doctors know about compound interest being the eighth miracle of the world. The truth is compound interest does not exist for you at a checking account level, savings account level, or even, even really in a bond. A treasury bill today, 1.5%. Treasury bill. Uh, I'll have more cash flow from this property. This property will do four times a treasury bill. And treasury bills are used to fund this activity. So, so what I mean by that is when I go buy this building behind me is $260, uh, $230 million. I'm going to put $70 million down. I'm going to finance the rest. The $180 million that I financed came from Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Bank, uh, uh, Citibank. Uh, I don't know what all the names are. The local community bank, your credit union, uh, bonds, treasury bonds, where... where uh, you guys earn no money. That money is coming out of your bank accounts. Wells Fargo calls me and says, Grant, Dr. Dr. Doolittle just dropped off $80,000, put it in a checking account. He's not paying attention to it. Can we lend it to you? It's, it's like, so yeah. funny you bring that up. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at my text this, this morning. My attorney friend, local in Louisiana, I'm from Louisiana. You know that song? I'm from, uh, anyway, he says, he was last night, late at night. He said, my mind races at night. So hopefully you read this in the morning. I got $500,000 to invest. And before I put it with the local financial advisor, I want to talk to you about real estate first because I heard about it. And so it's like people know. I mean, people are reaching out to me. People know that, you know what? Because when I, when I started off my first year, I sat down with the financial advisor and they said, Jeff, you're a good boy. You want to get wealthy? You need to invest with me in a 401k for the yeah. next 35 years. And when you get to be 70, you'll be set. I'm like, okay, that's, that's the only thing that I knew about. And I think maybe the Google put me with you from being Louisiana because I was searching one day and I don't know if it had an article where it says Grant Cardone is from Lake Charles and Louisiana, I don't know, but that's how we came together. And I was like, dang, he's teaching about, I've never heard of passive income. We're always taught about how much money to make. Yeah. We're not taught about how to make money. So take that 500,000 and, and, and the financial planner says, first of all, give me that money and I'm going to put it in a Kia. That money now becomes illiquid. You're penalized to get it back. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to show the doctor how to actually take that 500 grand, that 500 grand, by the way, you're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to trade it to another piece of paper that actually has less backing than the first piece of paper that you gave them. So what I would do with that 500 grand, because 500 grand, if you push it over to a mutual fund in an ETF, it's going to buy $500,000 worth of stock. And then you guys, the reason you're already stressed out about your damn patients, you're stressed out about healthcare, you're stressed out about the nurse that's a diva, you're stressed out about uh, your rent going up at your place, you're stressed out about what happens when the, the next level of Obamacare or Biden care or whatever happens and you get cut back again. 500,000 can only buy 500,000 with a question mark as to its value. So it's 500 grand. Now watch, I'm going to take the same 500 grand. I'm going to convert a piece of paper that we all agree. Republicans, Democrats, independents, everybody agrees. This is a piece of garbage. It is a, it is a piece of paper that has been, that this value is only based on the confidence we have agreed upon confidence which we have a, a depreciating confidence in this piece of paper. So I'm going to take the same 500 grand. The first thing the doctor should be doing is creating wealth with their, with their 500. So that 500, I'm going to multiply that times four, and I'm going to go buy two million, a $2 million position in a piece of real estate. I have immediately leveraged into something more valuable 
You cannot do this with stocks. You cannot do it with crypto. You can't do it with NFTs. You cannot do it with bonds. You cannot do it with cash accounts, money markets, check-ins, savings, nothing. I'm using leverage. I'm using a piece of real estate. Now, doctors, just remember this. Think with this simplicity, right? Because you guys, you guys have so much common sense. You have a science, and then you apply common sense to your science. Okay, every case is treated differently. You're, you're asking me, okay, your, di your dad died of heart disease at 52. But Grant, you're in great shape. You're not over, you're not, you're, you're going to add common sense to my historical heart disease in my family. You're not smoking, you're not drinking, you're not overeating, you don't load up on cholesterol foods, right, et cetera, right? You're going to use common sense. So let's use some common sense here. 500, 100 becomes 100. And we know this 100 is getting deflated. It's going down in value. Okay. You also know this stock market, if your financial planner puts you in the stock market, we're in historic highs. We are at the highest PE ratios in the history of a stock market with a printing press that has gone mad. So watch. Now I'm going to take this piece of paper that can be burnt. It can be torn. It can be, it can be lost. You can do a lot of things to damage this hundred dollars. It's been depreciated for the last hundred years. And I'm going to convert this to a building like behind me. It buys $2 million. The same 500 grand buys $2 million. And that $2 million is going to appreciate over the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It will go up in value over the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. In fact, multifamily in America has doubled every 10 years. Okay, so I took my 500 grand. I threw it into a building. The, build, the entire building, I, that building can catch on fire, but you can't burn all 456 units down the same night. If it did, it would be insured, unlike if this $100 got burned. It cannot be insured. Right. Okay. Now, now think about this. I go to Citibank, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and I say, hey, guys, I have 500 grand. I want to take the 500 grand. I believe in Wells Fargo so much that I want to take I want to take $500,000 of my money and I want to borrow $2 million worth of Wells Fargo stock. I want to invest in Wells Fargo. I want to put 500 grand down and I want to buy $2 million worth of Wells Fargo stock. What will Wells Fargo say? No, bro, we ain't doing that. No, no, this no. Wells Fargo won't even let you invest in their bank because they know that stock can go down. I go back to Wells Fargo and I say, Wells Fargo, I have a multifamily complex in my little town. And I want to bar I want to put 500 grand down on a $2 million building that's going to pay me $50,000 of cash flow a year. They'll be like, yeah, we'd love to do that loan. All day long. Okay, doctors, listen to what I'm telling you. Your local bank will lend you money on that property right there and they will not lend you money on their own stock. They will not lend you money to go invest in the stock market. And they will not lend you money on Bitcoin. What are you doing? 